After our 50, 60, 70 years on this planet, is there something else? Or is that the end? Or do each one of us possess some sort of soul? Is there an afterlife? My name is Dylan Martin. I'm an engineer, and I've designed some of the largest rough traffic control systems in this country. I've also been a paranormal researcher for the past 20 years. I'm here to tell you, what you've seen on TV is not the total truth. What do you got, Dennis? <laughs> Did you ask me what happened? So yeah. um, I was playing with the K2 meter, and um, it went. It was doing this. It went up to three bars, and it was consistent with three bars for about a minute. And I traced the outline. I went side to side, and it looked about the width of um, maybe a you know a normal medium-sized person. What's a K2 meter? K2 meter is a um, it's a device that me measures EMF or milligauss, and the theory is is that. Um, when a spirit manifests, it's using this type of energy to actually create itself. And this device, in turn, measures that. And what had happened was something was trying to manifest itself right next to me. And I don't know whether it's picking up the... Uh, is it, am I talking to you now? Is that you trying to light up the lights, or is that the camera? Are you back again? Because we had, we had a good conversation. We've heard um, a, a child's voice over here, so we're su su suspecting it might be a child. See, yeah, are we here? Are you here again, yes? Remember what the rules were, yes. One for yes, two for no, is that yes? There you are. Do you have a cell phone on or anything? I do. You do, okay, let's, let's take the cell phone. It's on airplane, airplane mode. It's on so. airplane mode, okay, as, let, let me confirm this. Are you, are you still with us? So let's take a look at some of the devices that these current TV ghost hunters use. What I have here, and I'm sure you've seen this, is what's known as an EMF detector. This one in particular is called a ghost meter. Now what this does is it measures EMF fields, which are everywhere, especially in a city like Los Angeles. This device, as an engineer I can tell you, is pretty much useless, but let's go ahead and play along. So if there's someone here, if there's someone present, could you please indicate your presence? Like touching this device. So what is setting this up? Is it a ghost? Or something else? It's just a concrete floor, right? Actually, as an engineer, you know immediately that there's conduit running through this floor with electric lines. You see, this device is pretty much useless, unless you're in Antarctica. We're in Los Angeles. Okay, so we know what set it off that time. So. Ghost, if you're here, please touch this device so that I know that you're present. Hmm. Cell phone? Ah, cell phone. Anything electrical it has a battery. Okay. Is there a ghost present? Can't be. Wait a minute. There's nothing in here. It's an empty cell phone case. What is it? It's got a magnet. You see what I'm saying? This is pretty much useless. You know what? I can't do this. I got hit at the top of my head. The top of my head. It, it feels like there's a. Well, it, 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 it's subsiding, that's what I'm saying. I had to move away, and it actually, now it's kind of going away, but it was the top, like the crown of my head, almost like someone was, was uh, putting their hand on it. It, it. This is a lame way to describe it, but putting their, my, my, their hand on it and squeezing, and it was right on the top. And so it was just too much, and as soon as I moved away from the door, it went away. So something's over there. Yes. 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 Whoa. First thing engineers do is collect as much information as possible and determine whether or not a cause and effect relationship exists. Over the past 100 years, mankind has made huge strides forward in areas of physics, science, 
our understanding of our universe. Yet we've moved forward very little in our understanding of the paranormal world. If the soul really does exist, what is it made of? What is it used for energy? Why does it seem in some cases to be confined to a certain location, as if it can't escape? This program will use cutting edge science and technology to obtain those answers. It's time to push paranormal research out of the 19th century and into the 21st.